What is going on, guys? This is your boy Apathy back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be giving you guys five amazing pro tips to make you a better player. So pay attention, watch the whole video, and get some popcorn and just learn. To start off, we're going to be talking about the shot punch. Now, in past Call of Duties, I don't know if you guys remember, but there it was a knife, a basically a one kill melee because the knife would just well slash or open and it would absolutely kill them right away. But in the newer Call of Duties, there usually if you punch somebody or you melee somebody, it is not a one hit kill. So there's a trick to this. It's called the shot punch. And I've been doing this for the past couple years to kind of compensate for that. So what you want to do is the combo. You want to shoot punch shoot punch and all it takes is one bullet when you get once you master it you get really good at shooting that one bullet like that and it's basically almost as fast as if you just one shot one punch them if, if you had a knife in your hand if you just gotta combo it and this definitely takes practice one way i could recommend you to get better at this is just going into a free fall like i'm doing right now because you need to make this more of a habit like i did to really become like a muscle memory for you, as soon as you're near someone, you're like your instincts to be like, let me shot punch him real quick and kill him right away. Versus like maybe shooting or what it is. Like sometimes shooting is still really good, but this shot punch technique is super good, guys. Trust me, it will get you some crazy kills. Like when you think you're dead or they think they have a kill on you, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? So look real quickly, run up to someone. <laughs> Funny bot. Run up to somebody, shot punch. Shoot that one bullet. You make sure your centering is good. So you center on the guy and get ready to shot punch. You can even like anticipate it. Hey, there's a guy coming around this corner. And go for it, baby. Fast kill. Okay, so we're going to tip number two. So we're going to go to the good old days. What we used to call the YY. Now, this thing is actually very helpful. And people are like a lot of times wonder why pros do this all the time. And it's something that us pros used to do back in Call of Duty when it was on Xbox. And we used Xbox controllers. We call the YY, which is basically this this weapon animation of like kind of swapping the gun but we don't really swap it because we instead of just pressing once you press it twice so you just like weird animation but it became more of a habit for pros to just do it all the time while we're, they're running around the map like this and it definitely isn't like the best habit but it kind of keeps you i don't know like in a way it's fun to do and just keeps you like zoned in in the game you're just constantly doing something even when you're like standing still or just running around the map but there is a bigger reason why this is actually a very helpful tip and why it can be effective. The rumors was about why why is that you, you just kind of center on areas and you just like why why, which it can help with your centering a bit. Like if you're anticipating a gunfight and you're just kind of why why in that area. But another reason why the why why or the triangle triangle or however you want to call it, there's there's another reason why pros find it very effective. And it's basically what I did right there. So when you do YY or triangle triangle, you can cancel the reload animation very quickly and it can either save your life or it can, well, basically it can save your life a lot because it's that one second or two second difference can be all it takes for you to either survive or die. So basically if one you're reloading, you could cancel it right away. Instead of letting it finish the whole animation, you can just YY immediately. As soon as you hit the, hear the click of the ammo going in, just YY and bam, the animation is done. This saves you about 0.5 seconds, which it's not a really, you know, crazy time. I think it just depends on the gun as well, because some guns reload slower or maybe have a slower animation. So that's where it's more effective. But also, let's say you just killed somebody. I'm reloading. Oh, there's another guy. Why? Why? Shoot. You see? I just killed that guy. I'm reloading. Oh, there's another guy. Why? Why? Shoot. So this is where it also comes in handy. Like, in handy. So you're right. Oh, another guy. You can shoot. So always remember that. So for tip number three, we're going to go, we're going to move on to a crazy like jump slide animation that was brought up sort of at the start of the game and it kind of like died out and people don't realize that it's still actually very good and pro players do it from time to time because yes, it is actually still effective. So this is actually pretty cool if you didn't know this animation or how to do this animation. Basically what you want to do is you want to jump, slide and just get ready to challenge. So I'm going to try to show you guys real quick. So jump, slide, and you can even jump again at the end. So jump, slide, jump, and do it just like that. Jump, slide, jump. It's a very fast animation. The momentum pulls up very quickly. So you want to jump, slide, and then jump again and aim in. Jump, slide, jump. Wow. Did we just trade it? So we're going to go to tip number four. Now, this is a really good one because people kind of forgot about this or like kind of 
again downplay this in Cold War. I'm not saying it's the best thing in this game, but it definitely isn't bad, and that's jump shotting. But there's a way you have to jump shot in this game. Jump shotting isn't as effective as, it, as it's been in the past Call of Duties, where you can keep such good aim while you're jumping around and shooting people. So there's a trick to this and kind of how you want to jump shot. So there's two things to, when it comes to jump shotting in, in Cold War. One, when you're jump shotting, most of the time you want to be aimed in. So if I'm about to jump shot this, I want to jump first, hold my pre-aim and do this. You basically want, like if I know someone's here, you want to get ready to, you want to basically be pre-aimed before you even shoot like midair. You don't want to jump and then like try to snap midair. That's going to be slow. It's going to take long. Always think about this. If your gun's aimed in already, you're, you're ready to shoot to kill. You're ready to shoot. So that's very important. If you if you're not aimed in, then you gotta wait for this animation. It takes another second, and it can get you killed. So most of the time, if you can't pre-firing the jump shot, basically like jumping, aiming in early, and then get ready to challenge is a really good way. Obviously, you can't always do this, but that's kind of the goal. Like any time when you're jump shotting, if you're if you're aimed in, you, you're about to challenge someone. He comes around this corner. Okay, coming around this corner. Aim in, come around this corner, then you shoot. So you like aimed in, then jump shot. Like that. So that's another way about being aimed in. Alright, guys. I hope you've been enjoying these little nice tips for you guys. That brings me to the last one. Tip number five. Now I mention this every now and then, but it definitely is very important. And I want to go a little bit in depth with this. And you guys wonder how do I shoot so straight, right? Like, how are you shooting the gun so straight? It looks like you don't miss. There's definitely diff uh, different reasons why and various reasons why, you know, I can shoot like an SMG like really well from far away. But one of the biggest thing is controlling the recoil. Okay, this is something you have to practice. You have to understand. Now, obviously, when you shoot a gun, there's vertical recoil and there's horizontal recoil. You can see it has a, a little bit of horizontal kind of goes to the right and it goes up a lot. So you can see where the vertical lies. So when I'm shooting this gun, my goal is you want to test every gun and kind of have an idea how the gun recoils. But my goal is basically to sh to to hold down, but also a little bit to the left. So you want to kind of control it like this. And you can see there's a very big difference when you're controlling the recoil. And a good way to kind of understand how a gun shoots on top of it, other than shooting a gun and visibly, you know, seeing it. You want to go to your class. You want to go to your attachments. There's actually, if you press R2 for details or whatever that key might be for you, you can actually go in depth and see the stats of the weapon. So if you go down to the horizontal recoil and the vertical recoil, you can see vertical recoil has 276, which is pretty damn high. And horizontal recoil is 190, which is lower than the vertical, which is nice. You always kind of want that. You want to have less vertical. That's a big reason why I like to run muzzle break on this weapon. But that's that's a very key thing. So once you understand the recoil and you kind of understand the recoil pattern, then you, you got to practice kind of like how the gun shoots. You gotta like aim to like when you're shooting at someone like you want to like let's say for the 74u you want to aim like a little bit down and to the left and that way you can beam really hard and controlling the recoil is very very important in this game or in call of duty in general or any i guess shooter game in general right like you could talk about like games like csgo i think csgo is a more pre predicted and like easier recoil pattern to kind of understand but in call of duty now Especially, I think they kind of eliminated the random recoil patterns of the past like two, three years. Um, it's definitely like it, you can have an understanding how the gun shoots. Like I said, you can see like kind of where the horizontal is, where the vertical is, and kind of like build your attachments off that, and then obviously learn how to control the recoil. But once you do understand that, you're gonna shoot really straight. And like I said, the, one of the best ways. Is definitely to just go into a free fall. Just go into a custom game lobby. Shoot against the wall. Like, this is another 70 for you. Shoot against the wall. See, like, okay, that's kind of how it shoots. Let me adjust that. Let me practice against that. All right, guys. It's been such a long time since I last did a tip video. And you know me. I always try to help you guys. I, always, I, I like doing tip videos on my channel. And I decided to pick this one up a little bit. Do some new tips. Some cool things that you guys might have not known. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you learned something new or you genuinely enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. It helps me a ton. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and gameplay. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Next video, next year, next day. No, no, seriously, though. I'll see you guys next video. Check out my other videos, too, while you're at it, while you're waiting. Okay, love you. Bye.